racers john racer through you today for a mario kart tournament on the rainbow road track today we have 25 mario kart hot wheels cars about to take on the brand new rainbow road track set from hot wheels i'm super excited to get the first official tournament under my belt with this track and I'm super excited. As you can see, the track is currently in its curved form. There's also a straight form for this track, but that will be for the next race. So today, for our first race, as you can see, we have a large assortment of Hot Wheels Mario Kart cars ready to take on this track, and it's gonna be a lot of fun racing today. Let's get into the rules. The rules for this tournament are pretty simple. Since there are five races and five lanes, it works out perfectly, but the way it, the races are going to work is there's going to be three races per each round of cars. Now, three laps, three races, pretty much how it's going to work is for the first two laps, the cars are going to race down the track like they normally would. Items will not be activated until the third lap, where the third lap is really what counts. So the first and second laps are really just to shuffle up the cars based on what lanes they want to be in. Now. Compared to other tournaments I've been done in the past when it comes to racing, it is hard to determine who is second, third, fourth, and all of that on this track. So the way it's going to work is first place, we'll be starting in lane three every single time since it is the most even lane instead of starting on the inside or the outside. And then all the other cars are going to be randomized for these lanes. So what you want to do is get in the middle lane by winning the races each lap. Now, like I said, this could be very randomized because with items unlocked on the third lap any item could pop up based on any switch that is flipped so that means first place can just be shut down by an item extremely fast now the way this is going to work it's pretty simple five whole races the winners of the five races will go into the finale which will be a five lap race with items mixed in and that is it's pretty simple i'm going to test out this rule set see if it works well if you guys have any other ideas what the rules should be in the future tournaments make sure to comment down below for the future races but i think that's all the rules we have today let's get into our first matchup with all of our mario kart cars we've got our starting lineup for the first race here we got lap one with baby mario waluigi peach tanuki mario and yellow yoshi i won't be pushing this button to start every race but for the very beginning might as well push it they'll go on the green And look at that, it is going to be lane five. That is Baby Mario taking the win for the first race. Here we go, entering lap two. Like I said, the positions are completely randomized except for Baby Mario, who is in the middle lane. Let's see how we can do in lap two. Look at that, it's gonna be lane five for the second lap. That is Waluigi. Lane five seems to be the fast one to pick today, but Waluigi is gonna be in the middle lane going into the third round. So here we go with the third lap now being underway. We're gonna switch the items on. It's completely random now. Who's gonna take it with Waluigi starting in the third lane? Let's find out in three, two, one. And it's going to be lane two. That is Baby Mario, the leader of the first lap, taking the win and moving on to the finale. We have Waluigi hitting a banana in lane three and Peach getting struck by lightning in lane five. Some unfortunate series of events for these two racers, but it's over. They'll maybe get it in the next one, but Baby Mario's moving on. We are ready for race two. Items are switched off now. We have some fantastic racers today. We have Lakitu, Diddy Kong, Green Yoshi, Mario in the standard cart, and Blue Shy Guy. We'll do Lakitu to start off this race, but let's see who takes it in lap one. Oh, 
Oh, it is a close race between everyone, but it's going to be Yoshi taking it in lane three. So he's not changing any lanes, and he's moving on to the second lap, right where he started. Yoshi pulling it strong on the first lap. Let's see how he does on the second lap. It all comes down to this, because wherever he starts for the second lap determines where they're going to be for the lap with items. Let's see how he does in three, two, one. Yoshi falling behind a little bit on that lap. It's going to be lane one, which is Mario. Going to be starting in the middle lane for the third lap with items. It's going to get intense. This is it. Going into the final lap, we have Mario in the middle lane. Items are on. Who is going to get taken out? Let's find out in three, two, one. Oh, Lakitu was fast, but it's going to be lane four. That is Yoshi taking the win today and moving on with baby Mario. Just take a look at that. Three competitors knocked out. We got Diddy Kong knocked out by lightning, Mario knocked out by a banana, and Blue Shy Guy knocked out by a bomb. That is unfortunate, but maybe they'll get the next one. All right, we have our third batch of cars. We got Donkey Kong, Cat Peach, Dry Bones, Red Yoshi, and Wario. Going into the first lap with items turned off, we'll click the Lakitu to start him off. Who's gonna win? Race one. Yeah. Look at that, it's gonna be lane five. That is Donkey Kong destroying the competition for the first race. Here we go, entering lap two. Whoever finishes first here will be in the middle lane for the item race. Three, two, one. Donkey Kong is absolutely dominating. He destroyed lap two of that race. Can he get lap three? We're about to find out. All right, this is it. It could all come down to luck here. We're having the items turned on for this lap. Donkey Kong is fast. I think the only way someone can beat him is if he hits a banana or something on the last straightaway. Let's see who gets it in three, two, one. Donkey Kong is unbelievably fast. It's gonna be a bomb popping up for dry bones. Halting him, but it wouldn't be enough as Donkey Kong obliterates the competition, taking the win, and moving on to the final race. Here we go. Next up on the track, we've got race four. We have Mario in the Wild Wing. We got Bowser, Luigi, Black Yoshi, and Rosalina. We're gonna click Lakitu for the start of this race. We're gonna make sure items are turned off, and let's get to racing. Look at that, Bowser has speed, but he loses it in the items. It's gonna be lane two, Black Yoshi taking the first win. Here we go, entering lap two. We got Black Yoshi in the middle. Let's see who can take it in three, two, one. And it's gonna be lane three again. That's Black Yoshi once again, destroying the competition. Bowser has the speed, but going through the items just isn't his forte. So he's going to lose it, and Black Yoshi's moving on to the middle lane in the third lap. This could be it, folks. Items are being turned on for the final lap. Black Yoshi's been dominant, but maybe he'll get stuck on that last straightaway with an item. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. And it's going to be lane five this time. Unbelievably, it is Bowser.
taking the win, dethroning Black Yoshi without any item interference. As you can see, we have Rosalina and Mario in the Wild Wing, both affected by some Koopa shells, which is unfortunate. But Bowser just holding on second place for that entire race. He's going to be taking the win and moving on to the finale with Yoshi, Baby Mario, and Donkey Kong. One more race to go. Before that race starts though, I've been testing and I noticed that the Mario in the Wild Wing was super light and I realized that he's so light to the point where he doesn't even get up. Well, I guess he does get over the items. He doesn't get over the item thing very well unless it's in lane 5 because you carry the most speed in lane 5, which is kind of crazy going around this turn with a lot of speed. So I think that's why lane 5 has been the most dominant. But yeah, Mario in the Wild Wing did not stand much of a chance. Here we go into the fifth and final matchup before the finals, and we have some menacing fast cars today. We have Toad, Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, King Boo, and Blue Yoshi. We're going to click Lakitu just for old time's sake. Actually, we're going to turn items off first, and then click him. See who's going to take lap one of this race on Rainbow Road. <laughs> Koopa Troopa had all of the speed all the way up until the items. The items seem to be thwarting everyone, but it's going to be Blue Yoshi taking the win. And surprisingly, a lot of the Yoshis have been doing very well on Rainbow Road. It surprises me, but Blue Yoshi starting in the third lane. I have a strong feeling Koopa Troopa is going to be able to bring this one back, but in lap two, let's see if he can dethrone that Blue Yoshi. One lap one. Three, two, one. And it's going to be lane one this time. That is Shy Guy. I wasn't expecting that, but it turns out the standard cars are much faster through the items than you'd think. So he's starting in the middle lane for lap three. And it's going to be a close one because the items are getting turned on. And there are a lot of fast cars in this bunch. The cars are lined up and ready. Items are turned on. Let's see who's going to take it in the last lap. Three, two, one. Look at that, I knew Koopa Troopa had something in him. Koopa Troopa is going to be taking the win in lane 5 on the final lap. And unfortunately, Blue Yoshi is getting stopped in lane 1. Lane 1 has had an incredible amount of stops, which is unfortunate for Blue Yoshi with that random placement. And very good for Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopa is moving on to the finale with all of the other Mario Kart racers. Let's go into the final round. It is time for the finale of the Rainbow Road Mario Kart Tournament. We have all five winners of the races lined up on the Rainbow Road track and ready to go. Now, I did some thinking about the rule set of what it should be on the final lap, and I decided it's going to be three laps, just like it usually is in Mario Kart, no matter what the race is, but we're going to be changing the rules with the items. It'll be same rules as normal, only items will be on for second and third laps of this race. So it's going to get very intense, and we might as well just get it started now. Donkey Kong automatically starting in the middle. We're going to click Lakitu for the start of the finale race. Who's going to win? Lap 1. And it's going to be Donkey Kong taking it in lane 3. He's going to be sticking there, and we're going to random shuffle all the other cars to see who's starting in what lane next lap. This feels like lap 3, but it's only lap 2 with the items getting turned on. Again, if a car gets stuck on the items, he is done for for the rest of the tournament. So let's see who is going to make it and who's not. Let's see in 3, 2, 1. Oh, look at that. It is going to be lane one taking the win, which is Yoshi. Surprisingly beating out Donkey Kong. And we have two eliminations. It's Koopa Troopa and Baby Mario getting eliminated by the shells on lap two. They will not be competing in lap three. Unfortunately, we have one more race to go. 
All right, this is it. We have Yoshi in the middle lane, Donkey Kong in lane four, and Bowser in lane two. We have items turned on and reset, and we're gonna click Lakitu just for the heck of it for the final race. Who's gonna take it on the first ever Mario Kart Rainbow Road Tournament? We're about to find out. And look at that, it is lane two. Yoshi destroyed by the item, and it's going to be Bowser. Unbelievably clutching the victory out of the hands of Donkey Kong. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you guys know, Donkey Kong has finished second in tournaments so many times. It is unbelievable, and unfortunately, he cannot escape that curse today, for Bowser is gonna be taking your win on the Rainbow Road track today, which is super surprising to me because Bowser is one of the tallest Mario Kart cars there are. As you can see, he hits his head on the item block so hard, but he manages to secure it by just hiding out and getting lucky, and that's what it takes to win on this Rainbow Road track today. Wow, what a race. An unfortunate race for Yoshi, winning the second lap with items on, only to get hit by his own banana because he triggered the items. Very unfortunate, but that is where I'm going to wrap it up today. Bowser, your current champion. There will be more races on this Rainbow Road track, maybe with new rules, with new cars. It's going to be insane, and there's a new setup for the Rainbow Track coming to a tournament very, very soon near you. So keep your eyes out for that. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Hot Wheels content like this, make sure you check me out on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, all of that stuff. Linked in the description down below. And I will see you guys making content all over there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Thank you.